Today, we've got data on basically everything we want to learn about. And with 23andMe, this includes your own DNA. With over 125 genetic reports, 23andMe can give you insight about your health, traits, ancestry, and so much more. Have you been running late in the morning because you're accidentally sleeping in? Guess what? It might have something to do with your genes. No kidding. I've tried it myself, and it's really easy to mail in your sample in just a few steps. To see what your genes have to say about your health, traits, and more, buy your health and ancestry service kit today at 23andMe.com slash death battle. That's the number two, three, and me com slash death battle again that's 23andme.com slash death battle whether it be to save the world or to benefit themselves every warrior has a different reason for fighting but when they're also a kick-ass celebrity all that matters is they bring the hype Johnny Cage, the stuntman turned legendary hero of Mortal Kombat. And Captain Falcon, the racer turned bounty hunter on the track of F-Zero. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Mortal Kombat is a deadly tournament dictated by the Elder Gods to decide the fate of entire worlds. Its contestants only include the best of the best. Whether you're a four-armed beast intent on conquest, a ninja assassin seeking vengeance, or a washed-up Hollywood movie star looking for your next big break, Johnny Cage was a global phenomenon known for his over-the-top and dumb-as-hell action flicks. You're dumb as hell, his movies are awesome! We got Ninja Mime, Citizen Cage, Broke Nose Mountain, and my personal favorite, Tommy Scissorfist. Oh, it's the only movie that ever really made me cry. But as with most celebrities, Cage's fame eventually cracked. Audiences lost interest in his stunts, and critics claimed he was a fraud. Which is bullshit! So to prove himself, Johnny naturally decided the best idea would be to join the deadliest martial arts tournament ever. What better way to stick it to him and show him you're the real deal than to save the Earth from an alien takeover? I guess Cage didn't really know what he was getting into. Luckily, he's no ordinary stuntman. Fans think my moves are all wire work and special effects. I am the special effects. This guy's trained all across the world. He's mastered four different martial arts, including Bruce Lee's real-life Jeet Kune Do. He's got nunchucks, brass knuckles, and his wicked cool Bowie knife. So when it came time to save the world, Cage could certainly hold his own against the greatest martial artists in the universe. Good thing, too. The lightning god Raiden really needed some help, because the outworld warlord Shao Kahn was just one tourney win away from taking over Earth. Okay, seriously, why does everyone always target Earth? I live here, it's not that great. Against the forces of evil, Cage discovered he was more adept at this sort of thing than even he expected. He possesses a mystical power passed down through generations, originally stemming from a Mediterranean war cult which bred and trained combatants to fight among the gods. Uh, sure, that's not random at all. This power manifests not just as a shield against divine forces, but also as a mythical energy Cage can weaponize. He can fire shadow bolt energy balls, punch you to pieces with a shadow uppercut, do a guile impression with the eclipse kick, and knock the shit out of you with his patented shadow kick. But even with these powers, Cage is still a mortal man. Whenever he found himself in trouble, he needed a go-to technique to get out of it. Oh, and he came up with the absolute perfect move. It's the Nutcracker, the Berry Buster, the Infertilizer, the Beanbag Barrage, the Not That Kind of Blow Blow, and my personal favorite, the Help Doctor, I think they're in my ribcage special. That's horrifically disturbing. It's inspiring, that's what. He's strong enough to rip your whole body apart and send your Johnson flying off to another country. Fatality! Oh, God, what the hell? This isn't my first rodeo. Despite Cage's crude and downright juvenile behavior, he proved worthy enough to be a champion of Earthrealm. The dude's strong enough to chop through a human head, a chunk of titanium, and even diamond. Applying the density of diamond, crushing some of this size would require nearly 50 million joules of energy. That's like getting hit by 26 monster trucks at the same time. Cage is quick enough to dodge point-blank automatic gunfire and tough enough to power through Sub-Zero's ice blast, which stops or even kills most people instantly. He's breaking those jumps apart like they're made of glass. Johnny even beat the shins off Shinnok, who's a freaking god! Thanks to his ancestral powers, which seem specifically tailored for this exact purpose, which is pretty remarkable. 
Shinnok's full power is a bit tricky to lock down, but he's pretty similar to Raiden, who fired a blast that obliterated this huge temple along with his enemies. So it's definitely a desperate max power move. As Buddhist temples typically avoided the use of stone in construction, we took the typical composition of wood and concrete into account while measuring the structure to determine this blast must equal nearly 270 tons of TNT, more than enough to level an entire city block. Damn! Who cares if Johnny's a pain in the ass when he can compete with power like that? Well, he wouldn't be a pain forever. Cage eventually found happiness with a family, including a daughter just as skilled as he is. He even earned new success in his film career with a series based on his adventures. But he never got tired of defending Earthrealm from the forces of ugly. God bless that beautiful man. <laughs> Those were $500 sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> It's the year 2560, and the world's gone crazy! Aliens are everywhere, we're traveling through space, and best of all, there's a brand new sporting town! An intense mix of high-speed racing with anti-gravity techno what's this This is F-Zero! So much better than NASCAR! You seem pretty chipper. Well, yeah! F-Zero's freaking awesome! Why don't we have this in real life yet? Probably because it's extraordinarily dangerous. On the F-Zero Grand Prix, one wrong turn can end your life. Yeah, what's your problem? The ones that survive are the best of the best, including the champ himself, Captain Falcon. To most of the world, Falcon is a legendary racer and household name, but that's about it. Otherwise, he's a mystery. Like Batman! Sort of. Off the track, Captain Falcon is actually an accomplished bounty hunter, dedicated to a mission of saving the universe from the vile forces of Black Shadow. Is that like a heavy metal band or something? No. Well then dibs. Black Shadow is a cold-blooded king of crime, determined to bend the universe to his will. He's also got horrible taste in style. How often you think that thing gets caught on door frames? Truly the most evil of evils. To take on Black Shadow, Falcon's a goddamn badass. He's super tough and super skilled in martial arts. Best of all, he's got a bunch of fiery super moves. The speedy Falcon Kick, the unpredictable Raptor Boost, and Falcon Dive, where he humps people so hard they explode. What? Just calling it like I see it, Wiz. Either way, as impressive as these techniques are, they pale in comparison to his greatest and most famous. Falcon! Punch! Show me a moves. He literally punches people so hard, they explode in bird-shaped fire. Which is awesome, but how? Well, as evident from his other techniques, he's not moving so fast he's igniting the air or anything like that. Rather, Falcon seems to possess some limited form of pyrokinesis. And while the reason for this has never been specifically explained, the answer may lie within his sleek F-Zero machine, the Blue Falcon. Oh yeah! This baby uses magnetic and G-diffuser tech to rocket over 1,500 kilometers per hour. That's more than 35 times faster than the Bugatti Chiron Sport, the fastest car in the world. But when he wants to push the Blue Falcon even further, he taps into its hidden reactor might. Now you might be asking, what's a reactor might? Oh, you know, nothing much. Just a magic piece of the Big Bang that birthed all of existence. You'd think there are better uses for a fragment of creation than powering a race car. No, I don't, Wiz. Have you seen what this thing can do? With the power of the reactor might, the Blue Falcon can go Beyblade with a move called Boost Fire. Check it out. The Blue Falcon becomes a deadly energy buzzsaw spinning so fast that it increases speed and can even fly. A reactor might is bonded with its owner and can even be called upon from a great distance away. Therefore, Falcon can summon his vehicle to his side at any moment. Reactor mites bottle up a ton of raw power. Put a few together and you can rip holes through dimensions. This one by itself went haywire and blew up this space station in one blast. Based on the space station's size and the ensuing blast radius, this explosion must have held a yield of over six megatons of TNT. Oftentimes, reactor mites also grant their owners a variety of superhuman powers, some even bordering on unexplainable magics. While it's technically unconfirmed, perhaps the reactor mite under the Blue Falcon hood is the source of the captain's curious pyrotechnics. Who cares? He can punch a giant fire falcon of burning death, and that's all that matters. Like when he finally beat Black Shadow once and for all. 
Did he just explode the galaxy? Hell yeah! Well, don't get the wrong idea. This blast of light actually originates from the exploding dark matter reactor, which has the power to rewind the Big Bang using all six reactor mites. It's a long story. Oh, that's way less epic. Still, even beating up Black Shadow is super impressive. This guy could tank hits from a hulked out super alien no problem. Falcon's quick enough to take out multiple enemy robots in the blink of an eye, a feat which would require moving faster than sound. He can spot a sniper from several miles away and even survive an exploding rocket. His exact clone took multiple blows from specialized military personnel with no effect whatsoever. And as a bonus, Falcon carries dynamite powerful enough to blow up this giant weather machine. That's like a hundred sticks of dynamite in one. Where do I get me some of that? And whoa, wait a minute, that guy survived? While Captain Falcon did accomplish his mission and rid the universe of Black Shadow's tyranny, it took more than one man to do it. Oh great, here comes the power of teamwork bullshit. No, 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 I mean Falcon is literally more than one man. Go on. The name Captain Falcon is actually a title passed through generations. To date, at least three people have claimed the moniker, Douglas J, Andy Summers, and Ryu Suzuku. Each new inheritor is chosen by the current Falcon, who seeks a worthy hero who can surpass him in skill and ability. So technically the latest to take the title, Ryu, should be capable of anything the others could do and more. New life goal unlocked. Wiz, I'm putting in my two weeks notice. While the man behind the mask may fall, Captain Falcon will always ride on, defending the galaxy one raceway at a time. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, let me tell you how to make your computer more anonymous than Captain Falcon with ExpressVPN. While researching characters and exploring the far corners of the internet, my own privacy is extremely important to me. Luckily, ExpressVPN is here to help. ExpressVPN keeps your identity safe while you're on the web, so none of those pesky internet ninja hackers can steal from you. And while not everybody is digging through internet archives like us, ExpressVPN is perfect for gamers. Right, with shorter connection routes between you and gaming servers, ExpressVPN can reduce ping times and overall lag. And here's a little secret, you can use a VPN to play with friends worldwide who are restricted to IP addresses from a certain country. I didn't even know that was a thing! ExpressVPN is consistently faster than other VPN providers, which is why it's the best choice for gamers. It's got apps for every device you can think of, and you can connect to it with just one click. Easy! Give it a try for yourself. ExpressVPN is less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Take back your internet privacy today and get three months free by going to expressvpn.com slash battle, or just click the link listed below. But right now, it's time for a dead battle! You recording? Yeah? Okay. We're at the F-Zero Grand Prix, snagging some clips for my latest flick. That guy there? That's who I'll be playing. Yeah, you're looking at the next Captain Falcon. It's gonna be a pretty sweet gig hey. for him. Did you say you're the next Falcon? Uh, yeah? Only one who can surpass Falcon can become Falcon. Show me your moves! You wanna go? Let's dance! All's fair in show business. Nobody says that! You 
Sports type really take audition seriously! Am I good enough for you now? Come on! Who's fire? Only one can be worthy. KO! Yes! F yes! Oh, that was awesome! Okay, uh, just chill for a minute. Johnny Cage certainly held his own against Falcon, with superior martial arts ability and matching mock speeds. But Captain Falcon wasn't a pushover and had plenty of experience with tricky opponents. Most of all, he had way more power on his side. Let's compare some of Johnny's best feats to Falcon's, specifically Crushing Diamond and the Falcon Punch. Yeah, when he hit that tough son of a bitch, Black Shadow. By measuring the area of effect and comparing that space to the heights of Captain Falcon and Black Shadow, we found that the electricity covered an area of about 300 cubic meters. Accounting for empty space, the amount of electricity needed to fill this area must equal at least 151 billion joules of energy. That's the same as dropping 12 elephants on Old Hornhead here, and over 3,000 times stronger than Johnny's Diamond Smash. Captain Falcon was tougher too. He survived a blast from a rocket launcher, but even more notably, he fared better against Black Shadow than Zoda did. You know, that hooked out alien guy who survived the exploding weather machine when he wasn't all hokey? So we can reasonably scale Falcon to Zoda, at least as far as those sorts of physical feats are concerned. Look at that explosion! Based on its size, it's worth around 100 tons of TNT. And while Cage's war cult powers let him survive battling Shinnok, whose power rivals Raiden's 270 tons of TNT blast, recall that this ancestral defense seems specifically tailored to counter such divine forces. A bullet could still put Cage down down. It has, and he's even died to lesser foes in alternate timelines. And anyway, Raiden's final explosion attack is nothing compared to the raw power of the reactor might under the Blue Falcon's hood. Numbers aside, this was a pretty even match, but Falcon's greater strength, toughness, and fiery arsenal tipped the scales. In the end, Johnny just couldn't finish the race. The winner is Captain Falcon. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link down below. And check out that video right over next to Ben's face.